Well, caveat, the, the clients we built this house for, they haven't seen it yet. So, Scott, if you guys watch this video, fast forward through the end, so that way you don't spoil it for yourselves. So, it's been custom built, designed, fully furnished, and they have not seen the final result yet. Correct. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever found yourself wondering what does inside of a $3 million St. George home look like in 2024? Well, today is your lucky chance. And even if you weren't wondering, we're gonna take you on a tour of this incredible St. George area parade of homes, parade home number 25. And Jason with Split Rock Custom Homes is going to take us on an exclusive builder tour. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, this is uh, Split Rock Custom Homes is a luxury custom home builder here in Utah. We've been building houses here in southern Utah for a little over 20 years now. We've developed a lot of what you see out here. Right now we are actually in the reserve at Entrada. That's the neighborhood we're in. Right across the street from beautiful Black Desert where the golf course is coming. PGA Tour is going to be there. This neighborhood is, is just amazing. The best views in town. And it's literally 360 degrees. It is, it is, it's incredible. I can't wait till you guys see from the living area out the back of the house, looking out towards the east and uh, towards uh, Scout Cave and even north towards Snow Canyon, just right around the corner. It's a beautiful home. Can't wait to see, show you guys the inside. But a little caveat, the, the clients we built this house for, they haven't seen it yet. So Scott, if you guys watch this video, Fast forward through the end, so that way you don't spoil it for yourselves. So it's been custom built, designed, fully furnished, and they have not seen the final result yet. Correct, yeah, so Becky Owens is the designer. You guys are gonna see Becky's work. She's very, very well known in this area. She's an incredible designer, one of the best in the world. And uh, you're gonna get to see what she does inside of this house. It's a, turn the inside of this house into something warm, family friendly, just amazing. And uh, we just can't wait to show you guys. Let's go check it out. We wanna take you guys inside the house and show you around a little bit. The house starts in the front, right before you come through the door with this beautiful oak ceiling and this beautiful oak door, and it carries that same theme through the whole house. So come on and take a look. I'm excited to go inside because it's a little bit chilly outside too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so welcome in. This is a beautiful home. It's um, uh, 5,500 square feet. We've got uh, five bedrooms, uh, six bathrooms, and we have the guest suites over here that are thermostatically controlled for the guests that are separate from the rest of the house. So that's one of the unique things about this house that we took every opportunity to create intention with everything we did in this house. As you can see, we have a beautiful white oak floor here. It's a shoreline white oak floor, sizable suite with an ensuite bathroom shower area with a closet. And we did really, we, Becky tried real hard to blend everything really well, make it flow really well. There's a lot of mixed metals in the house, so it doesn't get boring, but it flows really, really well. I've noticed all the hardware that plays really well together. It does, yeah. And then you have uh, just a powder right off the front. Correct, yeah. Powder bath here. So it's real convenient. As soon as they walk through the door, they can just come right in if they need to, right off the front door of the house. As you come in, you got these, not only do you have this large, beautiful, three foot by eight foot white oak door, everything in this house is stained to match. We got the beautiful white oak barn doors here that are soft closed, soft open, really nice, office right here in the hallway and as you come through the house through the hallway here you start noticing the great room ceiling again carrying that beautiful white oak this is really warm and, and homey feeling absolutely love this skylight detail as well it it yeah. kind of breaks up the ceiling and lots of natural light just comes straight down you're exactly right, yeah. So the architect really did did a great job putting these skylights in. There were actually more skylights in the house, 
We didn't want that choppy, broken up feeling throughout the house with the skylights kind of interrupting the ceiling lines. So we scaled it way back and we just left these two right here in the hallway. And everything in this house, again, and I'll probably mention that throughout the video, was intentional. There was a lot of intentional details that we, that we put into this home. And a lot of what you don't see kind of makes the home as well. And I'll explain that later. Awesome. So, so here you have another guest suite. Yeah, this is the second guest suite right off of the great room here. And again, these homes are thermostatically controlled. They have their home heating and air system inside the room. So when the guest is hot or cold, we don't have to turn on the central heat and air units to heat up this one room to make them comfortable and make everybody else uncomfortable. So that, again, that was intentional. That's perfect. So if somebody likes it closer to 79, somebody else gets too hot above 62. Correct. It doesn't matter. You just have your own comfort zone. Exactly. So if grandma or grandpa's in this room and they get, they're kind of cold natured, it's perfect. It works pretty much automatic. They just turn it on and there you go. So you don't have to hear from grandpa about messing with the thermostat. Bingo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So we've got beautiful tile work in here. We have a uh, Moroccan mosaic tile, you can see in the shower and uh, beautiful vanities and these are Becky intentionally did this 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 vanity area is just a little different than the other vanity that's all brass and that the first one and this is black so again mixed metals but doing it intentionally to kind of create just a little bit of a difference between the rooms and then here's the great room in the great room here we have this beautiful ceiling in here we work really hard uh, Pat Stone with custom finishes. He's our cabinet designer and cabinet cabinet man here. Um, he and I actually together hand pulled all of this wood, hand selected the wood for the ceilings throughout the home and uh, to cull out any wood that just wasn't desirable. We only picked the best wood with the least amount of knots, the nicest grain, and then we stained it, our painter, Eric Sweeney did an incredible job. He stained it with a whiskey cream stain and we tint the sealer to give it that deep, rich look throughout the whole home with the cabinetry. The cabinetry is all the same stain, same finish. So everything just really flows well together through this house. I absolutely love how perfectly that matches literally all the rest of the wood throughout the house. Yeah. And one of the things that we did with the ceiling as well is we installed this ceiling, the, all the wood after it was finished, we blind nailed it, put it all in, installed it before the, before the drywall. So once the drywall goes in, there's literally no cough lines in this ceiling. Really wow. intentional, again, really intentional. Jason, I, I wanted to take a moment to thank you for, for really telling us about all the details of all these homes, because in these tours previously, prior to us starting to do builder tours, I look at all these things and it's often about the feeling, you know, you walk into the home and wow, this feels amazing, but I can't tell you exactly why, but the devil is always in the detail. So I'm, I'm glad that we're having this super detailed tour. So our viewers can appreciate that as well, because often the video just gives you a broad picture and you don't really get to see all that goes into making these homes awesome. Right. And as a custom home builder, a luxury brand, like we are, we, um, we are only as good as our subs are. Right, and so it's really in our vendors. So it's really important that we, we choose the best subs and they care uh, about what they do tremendously. And they, they work so hard on these little details like this to get it right. And uh, these clients deserve the best. And that's what we're here to do is bring them the best possible product at the end that we can bring them um, for their money. And, um, and some of these things are actually value added things that we don't have to actually spend so much more money we can actually do the little things and sometimes that actually makes up for that difference and you can put money in other places in the home um, if it makes sense and the designer again becky and her team with amy and brand they did a fantastic job doing that and kind of give it casting their vision for us to actually execute that vision that's awesome yeah and so this is the kitchen area and so one thing you'll notice again is it's the little details that are subtle so the island here has an arch theme to it on the sides underneath here you have this beautiful arch opening here on the sides and if you would stand back here and look directly into the kitchen the vent hood is exactly the same the vent hood matches the island so when you're standing back here you get that continuity through the kitchen area from the dining room looking forward to the kitchen no, I know one thing you don't see in this kitchen is the outlets. Correct. 
And again, in this home, that's something that we intentionally did um, from an execution standpoint. We want to make sure that um, we don't Frankenstein the house, right? We don't put in all these beautiful, like the like the uh, Roman clay plaster walls and the tile, do all this wonderful work that we've done, and our, our subcontractors have done, and then go and throw a bunch of electrical outlets in it. So some builders do that, we don't do that. We, we try and get, steer away from that. So everything we do, again, is intentional. So if you come through and see, these, we've got two islands. This is a beautiful um, Calcutta quartz, Calcutta cassetta quartz countertop here. We've got two dishwashers, because nobody wants dirty dishes laying around. So we've got two dishwashers. This has, this has been our dream. We cook all the time and that's, that's one absolutely necessary upgrade that our house needs right now and definitely the future build will have. Yeah, it works great with the farm sink. And when you're referring to the outlet, so right here we have some beautiful, and they're decorative. We got these beautiful decorative plates that match the hardware really well. These are for plugging in any kind of iPad, iPhone, things like that. So the kids can sit out here and they can plug their stuff in. And then we have the second island. This is the cooking island. This is the prep sink island here. So plenty of storage here underneath. Every cabinet and every drawer is fully functional. They all work and they're solid wood. Everything here is wood, wood uh, the oak wood again. <clears throat> and our ice maker's right here on the corner. There's a fridge and freezer. And because they're counter, counter depth, there's no ice maker in them. That makes them slimmer and able, makes it more of a, a fit with the cabinetry. And we put the ice maker right here in the corner so it's easy to get to. And then on the other side <clears throat> of the island back this way, again, when you're cooking in here, you gotta have somewhere to plug in your appliances, okay? But when you're cooking, you don't want to run a risk of getting food or spilling something and it getting into the, uh, into the outlets. Because placing an outlet on the front of the uh, island like that makes it kind of easy for them to get dirty. So what we've done is we put in these mockets here in the front. And you'll see these mockets, they have a cover on them. And so if you're not using it to plug an appliance in or you're just cooking in general, something gets on it, it's easy to wipe and clean. But you just take that cover off and there you go. You can plug it right in. When you're done, you put the cover back in and you don't even see the outlet there. What about back here? I don't see any outlets. Usually there's an outlet like dead center of the back. Right. Yeah, so even back here, what we've done is Pat, we, we work with electricians, custom electrics, our electrician, they're fantastic, best around. So what we've done is we actually integrated some of the outlets underneath the floating shelf, and you can see these underneath the bottom, as well as the LED strip lighting underneath. And what we've done back here under the cabinet section, which is deeper than there than the floating shelf area, what we've done is we've actually added a panel to the bottom to make it thicker to actually hide the power strip in the very back 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 here behind the cabinetry and so you have an outlet you have usb that are incorporated into that strip you've got like four outlets back there and like i think eight usbs plenty of room to plug things in it's definitely but, very intentional yeah you'll never see them and then you the thermidor thermal. appliance is out here and then there's also a butler pantry right Correct. So what we've done here as well is, again, going with the whole not Frankensteining up the kitchen. We didn't put a microwave in here for that reason. Um, a lot of people do drawer microwaves and for some spaces they work fine. Uh, and in here, we just wanted to see the cabinetry. We wanted to see these two ovens and that's really all you really want to see between these and the dishwashers. And the GFIs, the GFCI protection for the kitchen is actually hidden also in the butler pantry. So you don't see that either. So we can show you the butler pantry. So it's still easy to access if anything pops, but at the same time, you don't have to stare at it. Correct. And this is our butler pantry for those awesome Costco runs that we do. So those are Costco, who doesn't? And it's, you know, if you live in Entrada, Costco is a little bit of a drive. So you probably want to have that fridge stocked right because on. you don't want to go across town too often. Exactly. So as you can see, we have this beautiful backsplash here. And so we've put the GFIs in the backsplash right here just to kind of get them out of the view of the kitchen, but they're still accessible if you need to reset them. And uh, we've got the one back here off to the left. That's actually for the back patio area. These two are for the kitchen. And, and this here's is, our microwave. This is likely where your toaster, uh, blender, coffee maker, whatever, that's probably gonna live here permanently on this shelf more or less. Right. So they'll cover up these outlets as well. Correct. And again, with the blender to the toaster, the Instapot, any of those things that you wanted to put in here, 
when you're done with them and they're all cleaned up in those two beautiful dishwashers in there, you got plenty of cabinet space here to store them away until the next time you need them. Now, one thing that I wanted to touch on is as you're in this kitchen, whatever it is you're doing, whether you're entertaining, you have people over, these views yeah. are absolutely yeah. intoxicating. It's incredible. Yeah, they are. This is, um, this is the reason why people build here in Ivan's and especially in the Entrada area. So whether it be the Kachina Cliffs, the Kachina Springs, uh, here in the reserve, across the street in Black Desert, up in the new Red Desert Trails area up there behind Vista School. Um, the views are just everywhere. And so the really neat thing about this is that we have a direct view directly out of these windows of Scout Cave. It's one of the, the bigger attractions here in the Snow Canyon area. You can park right there by Jenny's Trail, Jenny's Canyon Trail in Snow Canyon and walk and hike straight to uh, Scout Cave. Do it every morning if you wanted to. You could. Well, the homeowner here, the client, as soon as they move into this home and take possession of it, we've designed the backyard area, of course, with all the other stuff going on. There's a fence there with a gate and down the bottom of the wash, there's a trail that they can walk down to, take their families to in an afternoon after they get done hanging at the pool and eating in their beautiful kitchen, they can make a little hike straight to snow, to, uh, towards Snow Canyon to Scout Cave themselves. That's beautiful. Yep. Yeah, location, location, location. Yeah, location, location, location's right. So over here, Nick is the, this is the, the family gathering area here. This is the, the great room. This is where the family comes together at the end of the afternoon and spends time together just talking and hanging out. And again, if they're in the kitchen, they can easily talk back and forth with this nice open floor plan. It's not too big to where it feels, you know, uh, it's not overwhelming. Yeah. Right, impersonal. So it's it's you know, it's easy to live in here in the space like this. And um, we have these beautiful niches here that again were designed by Becky and her team and the porcelain hearth and surround for the fireplace. We have a sixty inch fireplace here from Custom Fireplace and the flat screen television and it's just real warm and just again with this ceiling and this the light fixture here that's just right over the couch right here in the corner so if you want to read a book you know you've got plenty of light to do that at night if you want to see her read a book and just enjoy the beautiful views out to your window here i love how this is a very cozy very family oriented comfortable space that you could use every single day but this home still has so much space to host and entertain have guests have people stay over um, you've got some indoor outdoor space with a sliding door you can walk out on the deck you get access to the pool and at the same time, it doesn't feel like just a big venue, it's still a home. Correct, and that's what this family really wanted and they really desired. They want to feel close to each other. We're not separate. Some homes are just like, there's so many walls in between and, and levels, and um, that's just not what they wanted. They wanted to be able to be together when they're together, and that's, that was intentional again on their part with Becky and, and their team. That's beautiful. So what other, what other rooms do we have on this yeah. main floor? So on the main floor here, Right through this beautiful big oak door here, we can take you into the primary bedroom suite and it's amazing. Yeah, so again, this is an arch door that was designed by Becky and her team. Uh, what we've done is we put the door, instead of it being at the bedroom, and just having this kind of a hallway to nowhere where you just have a hallway and a door over there, we decided to pull the door out here and give this hallway to the bedroom. So as you come through again with this oak ceiling, we've carried this oak ceiling into this area as well. I'm just kind of inviting you to come in into the bedroom. You've got mind blowing views from here with these massive windows. Yeah, this bedroom is like, there's, there's not many bedrooms like this, you guys. This, this is incredible. So morning, noon, night, it doesn't matter. If you want to just lay in this bed just to look out the window, that's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. <laughs> just hang out here just to be able to see outside here. So Watch the sun rise. As the sun sets, all of these rocks, they change colors. It's incredible how they do. when the sun hits these rocks a different angle, they literally change color. They really do. They really do with the shadows. And some days it's cloudy and they look different. And it's really neat also because there are tons of trails up there tons of mountain biking and hiking up there and you can literally stand here and see 
mountain bikers and hikers up there just having a great time. And look, if you live in Southern Utah and you spend all your time inside, that's your fault. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, there's so much to do here. Yeah, it is, it is. And again, we, the, we started outside the home with that beautiful blue limestone, as it's called. And we come in here, and as, again, that's intentional to bring the outside in and take some of the inside elements and take them outside to kind of make the house feel like, even when you're outside, you feel like you're still inside of your house in a way. So with the, with the fireplace here being the blue limestone, we also wrapped the barbecue grill, which will be used often. So when the kids are at the pool, hanging out, families around, they can cook some beautiful, wonderful hamburgers and things like that on the grill. And uh, again, it's wrapped in that limestone, again, to kind of tie the fireplace. And it's in, in your line of sight, you know, as you lay here in bed, you wake up, you look at the beautiful scenery outside and it's a cohesive yep. image that just carries on into this room. So mm -hmm. it almost feels as if that outdoor kitchen is a part of this room because it's in, in part of your peripheral view. Correct, and that's the one thing we intentionally did. Again, it go back to even the wood ceilings that you'll get to see here shortly out on the back porch. Um, again, blending the inside and the outside. So even when you're outside on your back porch, hanging out, chatting with your friends and, and the family, enjoying watching the kids play in the backyard in the pool and the putting green, you still feel like you're not just on a back porch. Right. You're still, it's like the extension Side of the your house. house. Yeah. It's the extension of your house. And that's what Split Rock is, most well known for not only the ability that we work with our clients to bring them their dreams um, and put them into fruition you know and build these beautiful spaces for them um, we're known for doing that just blending it i think builder input is so important because split rock definitely has a style you could usually tell your homes apart from anybody else and there are so many custom home builders some of them are incredible and you still, you, your homes always tend to stand out based on the features that we just described and the, the uniqueness of them. And it's just, it's the feeling truly. Exactly, and it makes sense. I mean, we're right here again, we're right here in Ivan's. We have lava, we have homes where we in, incorporate the lava basalt into the home, where we, over where there's some Chaco, where there's some Black Desert, um, or in the Northern area, the Northern section of in, uh, the reserve here at Entrada, this home backs up against the red rocks. So we want to kind of take advantage of the red rocks with the landscaping and how we kind of incorporated all that together. We don't want to do anything to make the house seem too distant from the environment that has been placed in, if that makes sense. So if we're in a lava area, we want to use take advantage of those natural tones of the lava throughout the home and just make it feel like you're Bring the outside there. in. Exactly. Yeah. I love how open this space feels. It feels I think it's, it's a little bit wider than you would normally see in even a large home. Yeah, it is. And um, Becky and her team, they they chose tones. They chose the tile, the colors, the palette, the textures in this room, like the rest of the home, intentionally, intentionally in here. So you have a nice, be uh, it's a beautiful uh, porcelain cement look tile in here that's real neutral and that uh, pulls from the other colors and the other tiles that are in here, like the seashell tile you see in, on the shower and then the little um, floating shelf space here in the corner on the other side of the tub and Eric again with his amazing ability to to do plaster and make it look in, uh, incredible Eric did a, a Roman clay plaster behind the pool that behind the tub that goes all the way up into the blind pocket and um, dives off into the blind pocket so you don't see any lines where it stopped and started and and he, we did inside the window, inside the actual window opening with the plaster. And then again over here on the vanity wall, it's the same plaster. It's real soft, it's a Roman clay, it's not a marble based plaster, so it's not really shiny. And again, it's real soft intentionally for that. I love it. You've got a good amount of cabinets on this side, dual vanities with um, a makeup counter in between. Yeah, so the in here we did the, the pleated cabinet fronts here. Um, and again, Becky and her team, along with Pat, they um, they brainstormed and, and with the homeowner designed these cabinets. Um, large doors, I mean, really large doors. You generally don't see, you normally have two doors underneath the cabinet, underneath the vanity here. But these are uh, one door with a single pull and they're just really large for storage. You know, you know whatever you want to put underneath there and she has this drop down 
makeup area here with the outlet behind there so she can plug her hair dryer in and do all that. And uh, these nice large mirrors here. There was another really cool detail that we were talking about earlier um, in this master dressing. And the pass-through touch is really cool because the laundry room is exactly on the other side of this wall, right? Exactly. So throughout this parade, we've had, I can't tell you how many people that have seen this and didn't know what it was. And they're looking through the house, trying to figure out if this goes downstairs, where this actually leads to and ends up. So what we've done, because I've done this in the past in other homes, because another thing we, as the builder, we place ourselves is from a usability standpoint in the home. Like, what would it be like if I walked through this door every day? What would it feel like if I had to use this room every day? And how would this be, you know, easy to use? Or what would be the difficulties in using it this way? So what we've done here is we've created an actual pasture because the laundry room is literally on the opposite end of this wall on the opposite end of the house through the mud room. So we created this open pasture with a hamper closet behind here so whenever they have the dirty clothes instead of having to walk them all the way through the house they pass them right through and into the hamper into the laundry room that's awesome that's super usable yeah yeah and closet creations did a fantastic job in here with the closets as well with the uh the white bleached and bleached wood look um it just kind of it just sits in here right it's not like an eye something right. you want to see it doesn't create that like distraction from not the rest the focal, of the not the focal point but yeah. it serves its purpose and it still looks really nice exactly from a from a from usability standpoint it's it's perfect maybe plenty of storage in here plenty of hanging space that's awesome yeah i love all the detail and all the usability features that really make this home like you want to live here because it makes sense so as we previously sh previously showed you in the primary bedroom closet where we have that pasture we can see where it ends up in here in the laundry so in here in the laundry room this laundry room is again really intentional we have the washer and dryer here we have that raised top so it's easier fold laundry and things like that and here we have a, a really nice black porcelain top um, from carpets plus it's a beautiful product a lot of veining it's really gorgeous and the appliances are ordered to match really well here with the agreeable gray cabinetry i have never seen appliances in that gray color that's so cool yeah it's like a slate, yeah, it's like a slate gray yeah. from ge uh these are uh they, these aren't monogram like the profile um but they're they work really well uh for the space the floor is the same tile that we had in the primary bathroom but we've gone an extra step so amy's um, vision for this floor was to have it the same tile but we wanted smaller pieces to kind of break it up a little bit more and they don't sell it that way so our tile installer nick he actually took the 12 by 24s and cut them every one of these tiles were cut and laid in here long process oh, super labor intensive very labor wow. intensive yeah and here we have the surprise. So that pass-through that we were talking about before comes out right here and where the homeowner will have their soft laundry chute or their laundry um, basket. So the clothes are passed through into the laundry basket then they can take them directly from there when they're ready to and put them in the wash. They don't have to immediately carry everything around or put it in a basket where it smells up the closet. You just bring it around. They can just Put it in here. And it looks super neat. So even if you're seeing people in, nobody sees your dirty laundry because you're not right. laying it out. Right. And the pass through is hidden in an actual closet. That's awesome. Cabinet. I'm blown away by the function at home. Something else in this home that we've incorporated, which was to me, it was it was a non-negotiable um, to put in the flush mounted. Uh, air conditioner vents because again this house is it's about what you don't see in this home that kind of makes the home to make it just flow where there's not a lot of mechanical obstructions whether it be electrical or air conditioning or anything like that um, where you always have these things in your way of being able to see the home so these uh, flush mount vents from Aria are, are fantastic they're great we really love them a lot we use them a lot they're not the cheapest thing but they're, we're not trying to find the cheapest way out but you know prior to this experience I can't say that I have ever appreciated 
an HVAC fan for its aesthetic attributes. You know, it usually, right. it usually just works, but this yeah. is really beautiful. And again, with like a, like a Tesla, for instance, you know how the door handles sit flush. There's a reason for that. Right. That's the minimalist approach to make, the, to make it streamlined, right? There's a reason why the aerodynamics of a Tesla are what they are because there was intentionality behind it. And that's how we are with this house. This is the Tesla. The Tesla of houses. Of houses. <laughs> that's awesome. So next, Nick, we're going to show you out here on the back patio. So first thing I want to show you is this epoxy finish on this deck. It's incredible. It worked out so well. The color of this flake is called pumice. And it works really well to kind of pull the wood from the ceiling and the wood floor from inside the house and the stucco all together to give you that kind of a blended neutral look. It's not so neutral that it's bland and plain but it's neutral in, in the uh in the way that it just kind of just again brings the inside of the house outside if that makes sense and in my experience this stuff is so much better for waterproofing for durability for longevity you know compared to like doing a tile deck i know that yeah a lot of builders won't even do a tile deck yeah and a tile deck in southern utah in this climate here doesn't do as well because there's a lot of expansion and contraction because we go from 20 degrees 15 degrees in the winter time and it's wet and rainy to super dry and 100 degrees 110 right. degrees in the summertime so you have a lot of expansion and contraction a deck like this right here will stay in the test of time and it'll hold up for years to come that's a good looking deck yeah and so again with the ceiling we have this beautiful oak wood that the same oak wood that we had from inside the house and what we do is we when we do the finish on the oak wood we add a sealer that's an exterior sealer on the wood to help prevent water damage in the future, as well as something else that we do with this, we did with this ceiling, is we pulled it back 30 inches from the face of the soffit. A lot of people won't recognize that, but we, it was intentional because wood could only be, be damaged by water through exposure. And so what we did is we pulled that wood from the edge, instead of taking the wood all the way out to the edge, we pulled it inside 30 inches and we added a stucco band below to make the stucco thicker right there to prevent any rainwater from being able to make it to that wood that's forward thinking it is that's what we do and if you have your outdoor kitchen set up out here that overlooks this beautiful pool with the fire feature behind it yeah so the um, barbecue turned out beautiful again with the blue limestone and the barbecue grills from Carpets Plus, they do a fantastic job. Dave and his crew there, they did a fantastic job giving us the right barbecue grill. It's not too large, and again, it's not too small. It's just the right size. Just for an afternoon of coming out and just cooking a few burgers and some hot dogs and you know, entertaining the family outside. That's perfect. And all the metal railings for the house, the staircases were all built here by MacArthur Welding. Um, they did a fantastic job on everything. We designed it with them from start to finish. Dusty and his crew did a fantastic job from the powder coating, the welding, just in installation went flawless. Um, I can't say enough about them. They're, they're hands down, they're our, one of our favorites to work with. That's awesome. Yeah, they've done a, a really good work on this yeah. railing and the, the banisters that take you downstairs and all the metal work. Right, and so I can kind of show you down here, down the staircase. Again, we built this staircase so robust that it can actually handle being having concrete poured through it wow so and that's what we've done we didn't want to do tile we didn't want to do anything like that because again we know that tile here doesn't really stand the test of time on the outside if it's a grouted and thin set it down it can come up through exposure so and again just to blend the deck outside all the flat work together with the staircase and with this pumice flake we poured the concrete through the whole staircase, both That's staircases. Good. And it feels really rigid and really solid because of that. It doesn't have that hollow Correct. feeling of a metal staircase. Yeah, so when you walk down the staircase, you walk up and you feel secure. It's not rickety, it's not shaky. It's just, it's, like you said, it's really solid. That's awesome. Doesn't have that hollow, hollow sound? No, not at all, <laughs> not at all. Should we go downstairs this way yeah. or through the house? Well, we can go downstairs this way and then we'll come upstairs through the house. Let's Perfect. do that. Let's do that. Yeah, look, no sound. <laughs> yeah, and you can see from here, you can see, Nick, we have a six foot fireplace here, an outdoor fireplace that's wrapped with the same paper material that we use around the pool area. 
So you've got seating here for, you know, several people with the pavers and the pavers are wrapped into that fireplace. It gives it just that nice overall, just a really flowing look, much like the house has inside. I absolutely love how there is a wash directly behind this property. So it's a natural feature of this landscape. It really makes it feel like you have an undisturbed desert behind you. And of course, as it rains, as the weather changes, you'll see that wash go from wet to dry and it brings some of the wildlife, like there's hawks in the area, right? Yeah, yeah, there's red-tailed hawks that live out here. There's all kinds of wildlife out here, but we still wanted to delineate the property, the immediate property from that wash. We don't want the backyard to feel like it just went on and just went on to eternity. We wanted to delineate it and make it, you know, usable. Right. So we created this, uh, the idea for this small knee wall in the back of the, the back of the yard here and added the fence on top and a gate for access so the, the homeowner if they want the client can actually they can walk through the gate right down to the wash and they can hike straight up to a scout so cool. cave or the snow canyon or go you know just go see friends across the wash over there you know pretty much your private hike yeah they go hike they can go anywhere they want back there uh, but again we delineated the yard but we didn't do it in a way that set the yard completely apart from the uh, the landscape out here. So we, Robert Blazard, our landscaper, he he installed this beautiful Rebel Red lava chat through the backyard to kind of again kind of keep the same red look in the backyard. So it it didn't completely separate the backyard from the natural. And it's habitat. a very very functional area. So you've got mm -hmm. a little hangout area here with room together for four people. You've got another table set up. By the way, I love all of the patio furniture and really all the furnishings in this house truly complement the space. Uh, you've got some chase lounges right there to kind of hang out by the pool. And then all of that takes you back into the downstairs inside area of this home, right? That's right, Nick. So again, Becky Owens, the designer, her team, Amy and, and Bren, they picked out some of the best patio furniture so these are actually aluminum all these chairs are really heavy gauge thick aluminum so they'll last for years out here and they're powder coated the colors are really neutral so they match everything really well and they got thick cushions that are uh, designed to be outside outdoors all the time without you know no doing or anything like that and so we've got that patio furniture all around the pool so let's go down and kind of take a look at the pool if you want let's to do it. all right nick so here we are down here at the pool level uh jeff and his crew at sunset pools they're amazing we love them they do such a great job uh, miguel does a great job running everything out here in the field communicate really well with each other and they helped us also with the pavers and the coping this beautiful coping that actually matches the pavers that renaissance did all the fabrication on um, just everything came together really smoothly out here and it's that constant communication and they know what we expect as the builder they know what we want for our for our clients and and we're not going to compromise on you know things that that matter of course or, or on anything um, so the client wants a mitered porcelain coping we're going to give them a mitered porcelain coping mitered porcelain coping and it's going to match everything it turned out absolutely incredible. I love how it flows into these pavers and the rest of the concrete as it goes back towards the house. All the color combinations are so finely matched together. Yeah. It's please, really pleasing to the eye. Yeah, and so that's another thing about when you hire a builder like Split Rock, which is a luxury custom home builder, you expect that. You expect that communication, that interaction, and that input from us that kind of helps you to you know, maybe facilitate some things and help you make the best decision between your designer, uh, whether it be landscape architect, the pool design team, um, the concrete company, uh, whoever it is. And so we've been in meetings with them. We sit down along with the client and the pool company and design the pool that they wanted us to help them design. And we, we're always at constant communication between them and everyone that they need to interact with to give them the best. That communication is so important. And you know, we work with so many clients that start build jobs remotely and then we kind of bridge that gap. And we find ourselves often that if that piece is missing or if that piece is incomplete and you're trying to build a house from sometimes 3,000 miles away, you know, somewhere yeah. from another coast, 
Having that ability to communicate with your builder and know exactly what you're getting is really key in, in being happy in the end. Well, most clients know what they want. They just don't know how to execute it. Right. And that's where we come in. We come in if we fill that gap for them and we give them the best opportunity to get the best product that they can. They're the artists. They have. Exactly. So Nick, this flat work, I wanted to show you this flat work. Uh, I've had actually, I've actually had builders calling me recently. I had one yesterday, they called me asking me what this was. How can they achieve this look? So what this is, this is, it's not a sand finish. It's a lightly exposed finish. So our concrete contractor, uh, Scott Welch and his crew, they ordered the concrete. It has a 2% smoke additive. It's an actual color pigment additive that helps the concrete to stay dark. Usually concrete bleaches out out here right. in the sun really fast. We don't want that. We want that lush, that 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 deep, rich look, just like we it have has, inside the house. It has a really nice, grippy feel to it, too. Yeah, it's not overly textured, right? right. It's not going to be hard on the feet for the kids when they're in and out of the pool. Um, if they come, you've seen kids. You have kids. Yeah. So if the kids get out and they run across this they thing, you're going to slip and falling. <laughs> Exactly, and it, it's all sealed. Uh, Jackson Nichols did all the concrete sealing. He did a fantastic job. He came in here, pressure washed, and cleaned this stuff like you wouldn't believe. Everything is super flawlessly cleaned and then sealed. And this is a, a, a top coat sealer, and it's going to last a very long time for the for the clients. It looks incredible. I love how it plays really well with the stucco, and it doesn't doesn't have that crazy contrast. Yeah, and again, trying to hide the mechanicals inside the house we do the same thing outside wherever we can we try to hide the mechanicals um, that's another reason why we decided to use this area vent down here area drain is what it's called it's a 16 by 16 area drain it's a pour in area drain much like a linear drain in a shower so remember the flush mounted air conditioner vents inside the house this is the same look that you get outside the house again that continuity making the outside again feel like it's inside the home is very important. That's awesome, and it definitely is big enough to handle all the water, even if you get torrential downpour, anything spills from the pool, you do want to have something like that. Right, right. And we don't want to distract from all the hard work that Jeff and his crew did on the pool. Right. We want that pool to be the focal point. We don't want the concrete and, and the, the drains and all that to be the focal point. We want the pool to be the fo focal point of this backyard and the landscape to be the point of the backyard that you kind of see from the inside or when you're outside here looking around the, the pool deck area. We want the pool and the furniture and all the hard work that everyone put into making that uh, uh, come to be out here. We want that to be the focal point and not the any kind of mechanical distractions. Absolutely, I think you guys have accomplished exactly that. So Nick, we can go inside the basement now and check out the, the fun rooms so the, that's awesome. where the family hang out. I absolutely love having a walkout basement for a home with a pool because if you're seeing people in this house, you're entertaining, you're having a party, but you don't want for the rest of your home to become a party scene, this is it. People can just come straight down here, they have a space inside and they go right outside to hang out by the pool. Right, so when the family's hanging out upstairs, the adults want to hang out to a certain point without the children, right? right? So they can talk and conversate. And the children also want to hang out without the parents sometimes. So it's a great place down here that the kids can come as well. And the adults can hang out here too when they want to. So they have the um, little table tennis here that they can play. Beautiful sitting room right here so the parents can just sit here. The, the young adults can sit here and just chat and hang out and another fireplace here for them. So, and again, it's a real cozy feeling here with all the, the same wood that was upstairs. We try to bring downstairs where it made sense to not overly do it down here because of the ceiling heights. Uh, but we just want to incorporate that down here. Becky and her team did a really good job with that. That's beautiful. Absolutely love it. And you have a little little kitchenette area back here. So if you're, you know, the whole family gathers downstairs at the end of the night to watch a movie, you can make some popcorn, grab some beverages from the fridge, have a little bar area if you maybe brought some food down here. Yeah, and so again, the kitchenette kind of stands on its own, kind of in the back. We don't wanna, that's not the place where people are gonna necessarily be hanging out so much. It's mainly gonna be in here. So we don't want the, the, the kitchenette to be a distraction from the rest of the room either. Although they, they did a really soft, really good job using a soft approach to kind of use some really nice backsplash here with this mosaic tile. 
and the small refrigerator fit in that space perfectly from Carpets Plus. We use this Bosch refrigerator. It's a little bit bigger than an apartment size, but it fits the bill for what we needed in this spot. It's perfect. So we have the carousel, sharp carousel 14 or 15 inch microwave here with some beautiful floating shells. And we have this smaller shelf that Pat, Pat built. It's a little bit shallower than the other one. So it's an intentional design that way. So that way for accessibility and ease of use and it doesn't encroach on the microwave and come out flush. It sits back and it looks really good that way. Yeah, it's very uh, visually more appealing that way, I think. Yeah. So, you know, got a few bowls and glasses there. And then you can also be in here making food and you can sit here and check out the movie too. So Becky came up with the idea of installing this bar top here between the column and this column here. So that way with four, four stools, gives you plenty of room just to kind of sit here and you feel like you're still part of the theater, but you don't have to take your food into the theater. You can actually eat your food here without making a mess on the couch. And, and yeah, I love that it's a floating bar top because as you look at this room from this perspective, it's not overwhelming. It's not diced up. It all feels like it just flows into the next room. Correct. I mean, again, everything in this house was done intentionally that way. So we have the plaster, the same plaster we had upstairs, which is a Roman clay plaster. We wanted to delineate the theater, but how do you do that without adding like acoustical paneling and things like that? That in a space like this, we don't we don't really want that. We want the space to feel open and inviting and not feel like the theater is separate from right. the house. And there's there's a reason why we did that. We didn't put up a wall here between the theater and the living area. We wanted it still to be open, but feel like you're in your own room, if that makes sense. So in here in the theater, we did, Eric did such an amazing job. He did the plaster on the ceilings. He worked extremely hard on getting this area finished up for us. And, um, and but with the best quality possible. So we have these four wonderful wooden lights that are dimmable. <clears throat> so we can dim those down and just give you a, a dark room that you can enjoy the television, this 85 inch TV from WireTech audio video. Sean and his crew did a fantastic job in this house with that especially. So here we have surround sound throughout the theater with a large subwoofer that's hidden back in the corner and I can't wait to just come in here and watch a movie myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. It feels very cozy. Yeah and so back here you guys is the guest suite, the laundry for the downstairs. Yes it's a basement of the laundry room and the bunk room. This is the kids, kids wing of the house, more or less. Right, yes, the kids wing of the house, um, for the most part, you know, and, and again, when you're dealing with children in and out of the pool, you got wet clothes and wet towels, and who wants to drag all that stuff upstairs and wash it upstairs? Let's just create a beautiful laundry room for them down here that they can use. A straight shot. Yeah, straight yeah. shot. From the outside into the pool bath and straight into the laundry room. Exactly, and so again, really intentional. So they'll come out the pool deck, and we have a frosted glass window here, USI. They, that's where we, they supplied all our windows and door packages for us and in this house. And so we have a frosted glass back door. So it's good privacy here. So kids can change out of their wet clothes, get some dry clothes on, put the wet ones in the laundry and they can come in here to this awesome bunk room and play or sleep or just do whatever. I love the carpet in here. Yeah, so Becky and her team um, along with Amy and Bren and the others, they, they really wanted to do a room that felt warm, but also was super functional for the kids. Um, so all these lights in here, and I'll turn one on for you so you can see it. All these lights, all these beds have a separate light. Each one has an independent light. So if one kid doesn't want the light on while they're in bed, they can turn theirs off. And they all have a, a an outlet to plug their device in if they need to plug an alarm clock or whatever. Um, and so the bedding in here is, um, again, from Amy and her crew um, and Becky. So everything's, the mattresses are really thick, really plush, um, and uh, all the comforting of the, the comforters and the, the bedding is super nice. And you can have six grandchildren, six children. Yeah, this, this sleeps six comfortably. I mean, if you had more than that, I guess they could share a bed, yeah. you know? But, 
So um, our trim carpenters and our framers that built this, they really worked hard. The painters worked really hard painting all these bunk beds to get them all right. And um, it's just all the paint, everything is just super slick. Uh, our cabinet company again came through solid on us with these, uh, with the oak for the bunk beds, with the railings, with the ladders. Uh, Pat and his crew at Custom Finishes, they did such a great job with these as well. And it's all solid wood. There's no laminates in here at all because we know that the kids are gonna be using these a lot. We don't want there ever be a risk of any of this wood chipping or getting, you know, how right. how veneers Well, another thing off. I was gonna call out too is it's often really tough to make kid products look luxury or chic. And True. you guys have accomplished that in this home because usually you look through a really nice house and you, you walk into a bunk bedroom and it, to me personally, it, it never looked like something that belonged to a luxury home, but this is executed really well. Well, thank you for that. And again, that was really intentional. Everyone that was involved in this, they, they, they executed the plan flawlessly. And again, Becky and her design team um, knocked it out of the park. Once again, Becky, you did it again. The carpet here, again, being intentional, these are actually carpet squares. So with children, as you guys know, you have kids too. I have kids, so kids tend to spill things. They tend to get marker. I have my daughter drawing. Working some Play-Doh in that, that Yeah, part. a little Play-Doh down there, you know, some marker. Oh. So these are actually carpet squares. So if one square gets messed up and you can't clean it, Just lift it up. we take it up. Hendricks and Butler supply the carpet squares for us. A great job again. And we'll, be, we'll just put a new square right down and replace it. That's awesome. Yeah. So no, no fear of spilling juice. <laughs> no, none at all. The laundry room is probably. So that's, that's the laundry room that we were talking about earlier that services the pool. Correct, yeah, nice laundry room again. It's not the same as upstairs. It's delineated a little bit. So this is the same GE products from Carpets Plus. They're fantastic. They're white instead of the slate gray like we have upstairs. We chose a gray porcelain countertop out here in here for this um, easy to clean up you know so it's real user friendly and again with the high top you can stand here and fold the clothes real easily you don't have to bend over you can stand here and fold the clothes up and Save have back. on here yeah that's awesome and it's a full set so if you've got a whole bunch of pool towels mm -hmm. that you want to throw in there you don't have to do multiple loads again these are extra large washer and dryer not that they're the focal point, but they're extra large, so that way if you have to wash 10 towels, you can put them in there and wash them. You don't have to wash five and then wash five later. <laughs> Nobody wants to do any more laundry than they have to. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Plenty of storage space for these beautiful cabinets. And back here, the last room in the basement on this side of the house I'd like to show you is the what I think is one of the coolest bedrooms in the house is the pool deck suite. So you can access the pool deck straight from this room. You don't even have to go outside of this room to access the pool deck and I'll show you. So if you have children that are visiting, that's where your favorite child sleeps. So this is where mom and dad would sleep. If they're coming in from out of town, they're bringing their kids, their kids will sleep in the bunk room next door. Mom and dad will get this beautiful room that has full pool access and come in. If they don't want to shower with the kids in there, you know, the kids are using right. the pool bath, they have their own bathroom that they can use. That's beautiful. Yeah. And then of course you have some awesome views through the stairs. And if you're laying in bed, you actually get an incredible view of some rad rock, the pool, everything this property has to offer. The basement doesn't mean a dungeon. It's a walkout basement that still has equally as beautiful views as you get from upstairs. Exactly, Nick. And again, what Split Rock is known for again is, is intentionality. We, we, we design homes that flow really well with the designers. We work closely with all of the designers. We don't have just one exclusive designer. We work with multiple designers. So bring your designer, bring your ideas, bring your dreams, and we'll build your home for you. And when, the, when we were designing the floor trusses for this house, just like the roof trusses, we put in the blind pockets because <clears throat> everybody's going to need a little privacy from time to time and keep the sun out when the sun's kind of coming in and blinding you. You want to just, especially in the summertime, you want to drop those blinds down. You can easily do that. That's perfect. So we have just one more room downstairs, right? Correct. We have one more room I'll show you. And this is for, in this particular home, this is for mom. Mom loves to exercise. Mom loves to get a good workout in. Even in the weather's bad and she doesn't want to go outside. 
So mom would like to come in here and instead of this being a bedroom, because we don't need any more sleeping, we, we, we think we have plenty of rooms to sleep people when they want to come and visit. But mom needs a place to hang out to do her exercise and get away from the day to day, get away from the, the, the kids for just a little bit and focus on herself. She can come in here and do some exercising. Self-care. Exactly, it's really important. <clears throat> so in here we have a, an awesome state-of-the-art treadmill. We have a spinning bike. The television here, so if she wants to watch some videos, inspire her to maybe some music, put on some music, she can get on her spinning bike and just go. Beautiful. Yeah. We have this beautiful mirrors here. Um, all the glass and all the mirrors in the house were done by Desert Star with Market Desert Star Glass. And they did a fantastic job throughout the entire house. I mean, hats off, those guys are always great. And so they put in these mirrors here um, for her to be able to use when she's in here working out. Last thing I want to show you guys is a staircase going up again. We have this full oak that matches everything else. Same stain, same finish on the oak wood with the handrails. And again, the blue limestone from outside the house that we're using all these different places, we put it in the staircase going right back upstairs. Sweet. I love how this entire wall is just finished in stone. Yeah, exactly. So again, we want to blend the inside and the outside. So we took all the stone that we had on the outside of the house, the blue limestone, and we integrated it into the house. So in this huge wall of stone here, and all the way up, we have we, we did the oak treads before we did the stone. So that way it looks like the oak treads are literally coming out of the stonework instead of just being right against the stone. It gives a, a better finish. Jason, thank you so much for taking us on such a deep detailed tour of this incredible home. We could really, and I think the viewers could really tell your passion for what you do and that's that's very refreshing and cool to see and we would absolutely love to bring you your next custom build job so if anybody out there is watching reach out to us we would absolutely love to help you guys get the ball rolling on this process absolutely we appreciate you guys taking the time to come and view this home and um, we're really excited for this year's parade and looking forward to next year's parade we've got some awesome things coming up in black desert in Desert Color, we do a lot down in Desert Color. We have some properties available down in De Desert Color and in Black Desert, both, um, that are available. We have some house plans that we would like to maybe sit down and show you guys. And, and uh, we would love to build our next home uh, with you guys. So come join us. Reach out to us, we'll make that happen. Absolutely. Thank you, and we're very much looking forward to the next year's parade. We are too, thanks. Thank you.